years not apart goes the universal law to impart implant and ingrain moral and cultural values in young boys and girls PSBB in association with IMCT foundation has organized the program sustain environment in this we review mother earth bhumi vandanam as a symbol of environment and ganga vandanam as a symbol of water nature is one of the best precious and noblest gifts of god on this planet nature is excellent in performing its duty it is because nature ceaselessly performs its duty that the world is able to derive so many sacred benefits so it is our duty and responsibility to nurture nature we must learn to place a ceiling on our desires such that we limit our use of natural resources we should remain aware of the impact our actions may have far from our sight and avoid harming the earth's atmosphere and climate by reducing energy use and our carbon footprint when we follow right action we experience the joy of knowing we are helping not harming mother earth our lives become more free and fruitful we should learn to live with a sense of justice knowing that all beings including animals and plants and our future generations depend on nature and that we have to conserve it the cutting of trees burning of fossil fuels the contamination of land water and environment has badly disturbed the ecosystem of our life as we all know water is life's matter and matrix mother and medium there is no life without water we need to safeguard this blessed treasure the conservation of nature is very important for our future generations The preservation of nature is a collective issue of humanity so let's live in harmony with the environment and live in peace Nature is the greatest gift from God we need to preserve mother earth and water water is the elixir of life plants animals and human beings Let us worship Bhu Mata and Ganga Mata to give us food and water. Namaha. Nature is a beautiful creation of God. A person is happy and happy only if he is in nature. Shadow of nature, the surrounding we live in, the food we eat, the water we drink, the air we breathe in all our parts.
Prakriti Vandanam, it is our responsibility to save our mother nature. Shri Gura Bhyo Namaha, welcome to Prakriti Vandanam. Samskara, the word Samskara is a goal to make an individual perfect. It is key to solve various problems of life. Two Samskaras are most important. One is social conduct and the other one is education. Vidya.
people, the clothes we wear, everything is provided by nature. All living things need water to live. We should stop polluting rivers and land to keep our environment green and clean. I am happy to take part in Prakriti Vandana to show the importance of nature. Devi Sureshwari Bhagavati Gange Trubhuvana Tarini Taralata Range Shankara Mauli Vihari Nivimale Mama Mati Rastam Tavapada Kamale Ganga Puja is celebrated on the day when Ganga came to earth and, and Ganga water is holy because it cleans our sins. Shri Guru Namaha. My name is Kritika Prakash from class 5B and I am here to perform Prakriti Vandana. Shuklam Bharadaram Vishnu Shashi Varnam Chadur Bhujam Prasanna Valadam Dhyaya Sarva Vigno Pashante Gangesa Yamunesa Godavari Narmadai Sindhu Kaveri Vaigai Tamira Bharani Jadesvin Jantum In Urupi, Ganga Puja is celebrated on the eve of Deepavali. Gange Chayamune Chaiva, Godavari Saraswati, Narmade Sindhu Kaveri, Jalesmin Sannidim Kuru. Krishna Krishna, Rama Rama, Govinda Govinda. ಶುಭಾಂಗಂಕಾಂತಮಲನಯನಂದೇ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗೋಪಯಹರ ಸರ್ವೋಕೈಕನಾಥ 
ಕಲ್ಯಾಣಾತ್ಪದಗಾತ್ರಯ ಕಾಮಿತಾ ಪ್ರದಾಯಿನೆ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾಯ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ ನಮಃ ಪೂಜಾ ರಾಘವೇಂದ್ರಯ ಸತ್ಯಧರ್ಮಾರಥಾಯ ಭಜತಾ ಕಲ್ಪರಕ್ಷಾಯ ನಮತ ಕಾಮಧೇನುವೆ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಘವೇಂದ್ರಯ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಘವೇಂದ್ರಯ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ರಾಘವೇಂದ್ರಯ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಸಸ್ಟೈನ್ ಅನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ಸ್ ರಿವ್ಯೂ ದಿ ಫೈ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ಲೆಸ್ ದಿ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ವಿಶ್ ಸೊ ನೌ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡು ಅ ಪೂಜಾ ಫಾರ್ ಮದರ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಾ ಗಂಗಾ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಫೆಸ್ಟಿವಲ್ಸ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ವಿತ್ ನೇಚರ್ ವಿ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ನೇಚರ್ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಭೂಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಇಕೋಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೆಟಿಸ್ಟ್ರಫೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಸರ್ವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ದಮ್ ಗೋದಾವರಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನರ್ಮದಾ ಸಿಂಧು ಕಾವೇರಿ ನರೇಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಸನ್ನಿಧಿ water is one amongst the most important elements it is addressed as part of the nature and environment water is used in religious sacrifices bathing washing drinking and rituals it 
represents different things as knowledge, life, salvation, and time. Water in Hinduism holds a sacred place as it is believed to have all purifying and cleansing powers. It recognizes that water is a part of our life that we are made up of. We should live, breathe, and consume water. Shri Guru Pyo Namaha. Mahaganga is a holy river originating from Lord Shiva's head. She purifies the heart and soul of every human being. Earth is referred to as our mother and Bhuma Devi as she protects and makes, takes care of us. Hence, it becomes our duty to respect, worship and protect Mother Earth and all the rivers. The Upanishad says, Isha Vasyam Idam Sarvam. Everything, animate or inanimate within the universe, is pervaded by God. God has provided us with abundance, but these resources are not the wealth of any one individual. Keeping this view of ancient seers of India, we must take refuge in our culture and honor the age old tradition of seeing divinity in the elements and worshipping them. Only then can they be preserved. What do you do? Nature human relationship is just like a mother child relationship. Mother Earth is the source of all creativity, and we all depend on her for our growth and meaningful existence. Environment is within us, not outside us. The trees are our lungs, the rivers are our bloodstream. We are all interconnected, and what we do to the environment ultimately is like doing it to ourselves. The current deplorable environmental crisis demands a spiritual response, a fundamental reorientation of human consciousness accompanied by action that is born out of inner commitment is very much needed. Thank you. Shri Guru Bhyana Maha, this beautiful planet Earth is our mother and our home. The sacred earth is our ark and all the plants and animals that live in it are our fellow passengers. We must not pollute our land and water resources and so should cherish the world and preserve its beauty and diversity.
Sudeva Navaha. Nature is fearless in vastness, bounties and beauties. It is the richest source mankind has. Man can benefit from it, learn from it and enjoy it in countless ways. It is never too late. While one person may not make a big impact on the environment by himself, the collective simple efforts of many concerned people can help conserve nature. Let us all join our hands together to do our share. Thank you.